So yeah, welcome to the channel guys, and this is going to be Gravitas. This will be my first time playing it, and as a pre-warning, I'm not very good with keyboard and mouse, so my performance is likely to be uh, fairly lackluster, as we saw yesterday with Red Trigger. But we'll do the best we can. Let's discover this game. Confirm. All right. Initializing docking sequence. Pupil pod is now docked. Pupil pod. That's an interesting name. Equalizing interior pressure. Gorn. Remember, there is no flash photography, loitering, or arson allowed in the gallery. <laughs> Fair. I wouldn't want arson in my gallery either. Alert! New arrival detected in the main lobby. Not now, she. I'm having my bi-hourly pondering time. The new pupil will be here any minute, and I must release all of my introspectiveness out into space. Alrighty then. Extended requested at main lobby desk. Oh, have, have they arrived? Oh, my new pupil! Oh my goodness, you're so cute! Look at your tiny blank face, so happy you could come! <clears throat> uh, she, say hello to our new pupil! Hello to our new pupil. Thank hello? you, she. Mm. Let's start over, shall we? Uh, uh, apologies if I seem out of sorts. It's been many a month since my last pupil died. It is an egregiously large pleasure to meet you. My name is... Hmm. No. S S Steve? Uh, uh, no matter. Why don't you just call me the curator? Yes. Yes, that makes the right body parts tingle. But, uh, but enough about me. Let us begin your journey. Welcome, my new pupil, to the Gallery of Refined Gravity. She, you, you, Silly girl, remember how we rehearsed this? Engage the Gravitas Protocol. Engaging. Yes, okay. Let's, uh, uh, she, uh, open the lobby door, please. Lobby door, malfunctioning. The main door is still, <coughs> nothing is wrong. Let me just get this open, you, hmm. Ah, onward! All right. I think I want to check these out before I uh, go onward, though. The Fieldable Cube. The Fieldable Cube is a scientific marvel made out of love and duct tape. The most advanced cube in the gallery. You may find them in later exhibits, but careful, though. Or, be careful, though. Packing that much technology in a beautiful bundle makes them gorgeous, but heavy. Not unlike elephants. Alright. <laughs> Can I touch it? Can't pick it up. The Ultra Cube. The wire cube, while aesthetically delightful, proved unsuitable for regular use in the gallery due to its delicate structure. One good hit can turn this cube into a series of thin cylinders, which are not remotely allowed in this gallery. These cubes now serve primarily as a lightweight decoration, and on sunny days, a very comfortable hat. A very comfortable hat, is it? That doesn't look like that comfy of a hat. What's this? Can I interact with it? No? What does it say? Can I read it? Nah. Now Doc's cube works, or cubes work. Oh, I can't read that. <laughs> no, nope. I should have read that one first. Let's read it first before we look down. The Crimson Cube. The Crimson Cube is a powerful superhero in the cube world. Searching for the villain that killed his parents and took a piece of his head as a trophy. His is a tale of revenge and betrayal. Enhanced by the fact that he is a cube, spending his life searching for a smaller cube. 
Okay. Interesting. So he's missing a corner. Weird. That was dramatic. The Hollow Cube. The Hollow Cube was a prototype for creating a lighter, easier to move cube. However, somehow she managed to misinterpret the blueprint. And now it weighs over 14 tons. Where does the extra weight come from? We just don't know. Achievement unlocked. What are these buttons? Wait, what? 14 tons. Alright. Not what I was expecting. Hey. <laughs> I wonder if I was supposed to do that. I don't seem to be able to pick anything up. And run and jump and... About it. This is pretty, though. I like the look of it. This unique gallery is an exploration into artistic expression using groundbreaking technology and cubes. And cubes. The only rule is no talking ever. All right? Good. She, the elevator. All right. Please enjoy your visit to the court. Well, maybe my character won't be talking, but I sure as hell will be. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh. Just hold me in the... Oh, no. That could have been bad. So to appreciate my revolutionary work here, you will need this special glove. I call it... Or just interrupt me by immediately grabbing a mysterious glove that you know literally nothing about and could just be filled with scorpions. All right, then. She, begin the connection sequence. Integrating artistic appreciation enhancement apparatus. I'm enjoying Ding. this. Integration complete. All right, you should be ready. You now have very limited control over gravity. Use that power. Come to me. Jump this petty gap, you glorious fool. Why are you just standing there? You can't be afraid. The first thing the glove deletes is fear. Do you need me to explain the... What? No, no, you have to create a gravity field. Why... Would you just blindly, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Let's just get you out of there. There is a fieldable surface on the ceiling, and you obviously, and there you go. Now, when you do that, the glove emits energy that attempts to connect with these special glowy walls. The energy veins have nothing to do with anything. They are simply gorgeous. Okay. You are ready. I'm enjoying this game so far. Okay. So, this is a little Sheesh, similar to... the theatrics uh, algorithm! A leading voice command. A little similar to Red Trigger, it seems, in the way that, uh... You use your left click to, uh use your power and it seems your right click retracts any uses of your power oh, that good. There you are already applied. This is the first piece of my gallery. I call this one Ascension. Dramatic pause. Now that you have the eye, you have enough memory to store the significance of my work. And free Wi-Fi. Now off you go. Rise to a higher room of artistic Thought. This this is a pretty funny game. Oh, oh. Not to be rude, but why are you still here? It's in this room. Go and climb the metaphor. Of course, is that better on the audio? I wonder. So, in this first piece, I'm just going to observe you, if you don't mind. This is all for the future of the medium, you understand. I was putting on the gloves, so the concerned to be observed in the corner. Let us begin! Let 
Let us begin. Okay, how many can I have? One per surface. Oh, okay, it seems only one at a time. All right. It's good to know. Oof, that glare. Uh, let's see here. that up. Try that again from here. There we go. Okay, okay. I'm seeing how this works. So it's pull puzzles. Yeah, no, this is fun. I will now I like the tell narrative. you a story. A story about a garden of gravity. The garden is quiet. A Gorg reminder. Press the right mouse button to cancel your current gravity field. She! Holy mother of immersion! Just <laughs> engage the calming ambience! Ambience initialized. Ah, oh my. so tranquil. Traverse its valleys, search its nooks, fondle its crannies. Let the story begin. Okay, that didn't help. What do we do? Where is this going to take me? This is just take me around in circles. Yep, looks like it just takes me around in circles. All right. Uh, what do we want to do here? Not that I don't think. That. That. The first stone falls into the river, bringing you goals in sight by disrupting nature, scaring deer, and confusing the birds. This stone judges you. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to do is get those in the river. Genius. 
Isn't that great? I'm so excited. <clears throat> Welcome to the second piece of my gallery. I call this one, Now You Can Die! So there. Alright, we'll go have some fun. And watch your step, if you like meat. Alright, <laughs> I'm still like talking, but that's the spirit! Whee! <laughs> You're the one who told me to go. Oh, there you are. I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. This Hello. here is Buff Barbecue. He will be assisting you with this particular piece. Which is good because he has neither skin nor eyes. Oh, be gentle with him though. He's really sensitive. This is a very interesting game. I like this. Starting to realize I just really have a thing for puzzle platformers. Alert. Main generator coolant system malfunction. Oof. Attempting I'm sorry, she repair. has just been so oh. desperate for attention lately. Just coolant Oh, that just was close. Go. Penguin pupil initiative. She, you will eventually need to let that go. The mastery of their abstract ice sculptures haunts me. <laughs> Can I even run that fast? Oh, I don't need to run that fast. I'm I'm dumb. This is what I need to do. There we go. You know what I just realized? I actually hate Bartholikyu. My, my, aren't you a natural? Yes, yes, I see much anger in you. And rightly so. Anger is the natural response to coexisting with stupid people. <laughs> Fuck. Well, he's not wrong. this one. Am I jumping? Oof. Didn't think I was making that. Whee! Yep. There we go. Sweet. Welcome, my people, to your destructionist phase. Now refine all the big glass into billions of tiny glass. Go 
going to Erg Beastmer. Got it. Hmm. Oh yeah, Fieldable Cube. That's right. The Fieldable Cube weighs approximately as much as two adult female Asian elephants. You know, this reminds me. Many pupils have asked, why, why have glass panes in a gallery explicitly to be broken? It seems dangerous and expensive. Oh. Oddly enough, pretty much all of the pupils who said that are dead. Now, if you haven't noticed, I love breaking glass and watching people break glass. And you will also notice that I am not dead. Do you see why I instantiated the no talking rule? Bad do you? <laughs> Fuck. Wait a minute. How do I do this? I see now. Oh no, bad idea. You know, this reminds me. Uh, many pupils have asked, why, why have glass panes in a gallery explicitly to be broken? It seems dangerous and expensive. Oddly enough, pretty much all of the pupils who said that are dead. Now, if you haven't noticed, I love breaking glass and watching people break glass. The no talking rule, bad junior. Uh, there we go. We needed you off of that one. Okay, no, we actually need to bring you over there. Uh, can we make this work, I wonder? Ooh, nope, don't think so. Oh, I can get it there. Good, good. Good, good. What the? Alright. There we go. Playing a herd light vector now. Uh, this one is a first-person action, action platformer. Uh, I love the uh, name of the company that developed it. Actually a game company, LLC. And this one was released the 26th of March, 2019. Anyway. So yeah, we're going to try out Hard Light Vector. Okay. Uh, Welcome back, Lee. You must be the new site. Call me Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Let's see here. Oh. Hold it to jump higher. Okay, yeah. Retrieve your dagger so we can get started. My dagger. Joy of Pylons, spearing them, activates things in the world. Okay. The dagger can be used to destroy things. Checkpoint. So that's a checkpoint, not the other thing. Hold left click to attach to orange crystals. Okay, so I gotta be real close to be able to grab it, it looks like. Oh, I'm getting hit. Okay, I kind of vaguely understand how this works. 
Oh, okay. There's something to catch me at least. I wonder if I just grab it from the bottom, will that be easier? Yes. Okay. Seeing how this works. I'm liking it. This is a cool concept. Oh, you're gonna love this, Adelaide. That blue pickup ahead will give you extra jumps. Let me come see what this is first. Here lies Prince Patrick, collector of souls. Okay. Can I sequence break? that be sequence breaking? No, I think that's just going back further. Alright, let's keep going. Look around a little bit. Jump midair to use boosters. Alright, cool. Sweet. Sweet. The memory guard has been closed to prevent residents from entering. There should be an override pylon nearby. Oof. That was a close one. Dagger to grind on rails. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Oh, I missed that one. Uh, let's see here. Look around a little bit. dagger to grind on rails. Oh, I wanted that piece. There we go. Uh, excuse me, game. That was unfortunate. How far down am I? Not that far, am I? Oh. Here, let's go get that one too. Is that another one over there? These drone spotters were built to protect Paravenger from Kung Fu fighting robots and humans like you. And human, like me. Alright. Oh wait, what? 
Oh, okay. Just keep spitting them out. Okay, hello. What is this doing? Okay, I powered that on. Good to know. Um, okay. That was going down. Oh! Fight? Question mark? Fantastic! There's your target. The ribbon formerly known as Gabriel. He was a father before, but did not go gently into our ceremony of remembrance. He has completely destroyed the temple, the rascal. Okay, maybe I should try a different direction here. as you were in life. Negative six. Nice 
stand on them. Okay, I can stand on these. That's good to know. It's probably not gonna end up not being good for my health, but it's good to know. Fun fact 11! Those blue sparkly things you've been getting are not diamonds, they're the souls of the unburied dead! Oh! Wonderful. Keyboard and mouse. Oh. And that's staying alive, apparently. These are backers. Oh, nope. That's not what they're supposed to do. Alright guys, let's get back into it. This is what never was. Let's see. Uh, this one is described as a story-driven puzzle adventure. Uh, I think this one was advertised as being relatively short. Uh, let's see, this one's developed by... Probably gonna butcher this name too. Uh, Aka Halgren. That's my best guess on how that's pronounced. Uh, and this one came out the 11th of January, 2019. Hey, Mom. Where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already... Oh, whoops. Okay. Sorry. 
Don't we owe it to Grandpa too? Yeah, I know. It's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandma's had that for years. Okay. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then... I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah. Bye. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. All right. Let's do this. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is really pretty. Oh, God. The glare from the sun. Ow. Oh, I walk really slow. It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. <laughs> really? Oh, Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. It's a banker's lamp. Probably really old. Hmm. But in great condition. Ah, oh, no. I used to put this on for Grandpa after dinner, and we'd sit and listen to it together. Okay, I can interact with objects too. Alright. I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's turn that off. Enough of that. A desk drawer. Okay. Oh, picked up a journal page. Q or tab. Journal page number 15. Elston. Also sometimes known as troll stones. The subject of Scandinavian folklore. Normal rocks with holes in them the size of an acorn were considered lucky, otherworldly, and useful. Hung from the necks of livestock, it would protect them and their farmers alike from malicious predators, trolls, and even incubi. In some tales, the owner of a true Elfston is also able to see the otherwise invisible common troll through the hole of the rock. While several of these were on display, only one of them looked to be the one I was looking for, carved in a way that no average jeweler could, and with ore in a place, sorry, and with ore in place of where a hole should be. I didn't acquire it through the most honest of means, but no one came to harm, and I'm sure its disappearance won't be noticed. I do wonder how it fits into all of this, though. I must study it thoroughly. Hmm. Cell phone. A Matson flip phone. It's a year old, but still works pretty great. I'm not in a hurry to upgrade, even though the new smartphones look pretty nifty. Well, maybe I would be if I could afford one. Yeah, fair enough. Been there. A student ID from my school. I'm still not quite sure if studying botanics and biology is right for me, and God knows Mom doesn't think so, but I like nature, and I'm... And the idea of maybe one day fixing the planet and winning the Nobel Prize or something. Or setting up a flower shop, you know. Whichever. Also, not the best picture. But yeah, that's me. Okay. And a necklace. A necklace I got from Grandpa when I turned ten. He joked that it was, a mag that it was magical and that it would keep me safe from the monsters and such under my bed. And I believed him for the longest time. I've wore it since. And now that he's gone, I don't think I'll ever stop wearing it. Okay. Whoa, lots of drawers. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Okay. Looking like pretty much all of these are locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's, lo it's locked. It's locked. A desk drawer. <sighs> it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Nah, I don't feel like reading up on kings, countries, or history right now. Okay. Fairies by Brian Froud. In Can interact with some things that don't necessarily glow. Maps. Lots of maps. 
I'm sure some of these are worth keeping, but I'm not going to sit down and sort through them right now. Hmm, what's this? Hmm, what is this? Another journal page. <laughs> okay, let's look around a little bit more before we uh, open up that other journal page. A tape recorder. We'll pick that up in a minute. Damn, the adapters. Oh man, my old A station. I spent hours playing. A station. A station. Oh, that's great. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. It's of a farm not far from where Grandma used to work. Okay. Okay, and I guess let's look at that other note. Number two. It seems no coincidence that both the resting place of Pele and Pariacaca would happen to be in mountains. The trek has gone well, and although the winds are ominous, my clothing and necessities have carried me well so far. The guide I hired upon arrival have proven invaluable, or perhaps has, not only in his knowledge of the thick forest, but also for his rich knowledge and his company. Not unexpectedly, the symbol of water could not be found at the peak of the summit, or the symbol of water could be found at the peak of the summit, along with the alchemic symbol of water. Again, these symbols seem interconnected, and while one set are alchemic symbols known to many people, the other seems strange, and of no cultural design that at least I am knowledgeable of. The encounter on Hawaii makes me certain that the other two elements must bear significance as well. What will I find on this mountain? <clears throat> hmm. Very interesting. Yu Sang China. And a symbol of a tree. What a globe. Oh, okay. These can be pushed. Okay. What are these strange markings and symbols? That doesn't seem to be it. Ah, shoot. No. Okay. So this one, this one, and then this one, and then that one. <laughs> I did it. So what this do? This oh, like, hello. Is this? This looks like. Is this a second part of my necklace? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it's that stone. Whoa! Hello. Look through your necklace. Press V. Whoa. Hello. Serious whoa. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It's a small, simple key. Maybe it fits cool. the desk. It's an old table lamp. We got the key. Hopefully it does fit the desk. We got another page. My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much beer for the woodchuck chuck kicker? Oh. Hmm. The key I have doesn't okay. fit here. Grandpa. Hmm. The key I have doesn't okay, fit so here. Okay, so that's just for the key. box looks fairly old and has a co an open desk drawer an open an open desk drawer I wanted to examine the stuff page. in the desk drawer yeah dickhead I know it's an open desk drawer
All right, so let's check our new journal pages. Journal page number one. I finally landed on Hawaii and will soon begin my arduous climb of Mount Mauna Loa. I'm going to go with that. I'm not much of a climber, but I am filled with determination. I will, however, first take some days to recuperate from the tire from the very tiresome travel from which my fear of flight did not exactly improve. Not only was the pilot rude and dismissive of safety protocol, he also seemed completely unsure at times of what he was doing. Regardless, I am here, and will spend the coming days in the village of Pahala. Whatever secrets Pele, goddess of fire, holds, it is now within my grasp. I have definitely reached the right place, although I am weary from travel. I am too excited to sleep. The villagers are friendly, but warn me of herding customs, something I have no intent to do. I have also noticed the alchemic symbol of fire etched over people's doorways. It connects to Pele, of course, but is it linked to the crest I've sought as well? Number three. The alchemic symbol of earth combined with the Chinese one for tree. While a trip has yet again gone well, and my research has once again led me to these symbols, I can draw no conclusion. I have spent most of my life searching these mythological connections, yet again I reach my destination, and nothing. Almost as if this is all an extremely elaborate prank. Sometime, I sometimes wonder if my daughter is right. Months, nay years of planning, only to eventually find a temple or shrine with another symbol, another riddle, and another clue. However, at the same time, it feels like I am so close to finding something. <clears throat> all I've worked for. It's here. I know it. The necklace in the temple in China made all the difference, and now I'm finally in Africa, hoping to set the burning sensation of curiosity to peace. The symbols line up in my cat and my calculations were correct. The anonymous mail I received helped on a grand scale, but I still have not managed to figure out the sender. Regardless, the last piece of knowledge should be here in Egypt, and after having evaded my guide, I have now found the symbols. It's time. Time to learn what is behind these strange connections and events. An old photograph found in Grandpa's desk. It says, Sultan Hassan Mosque Madrasa. Egypt, 1966. Must have been from one of his trips. Okay. Now, can I inspect that with the lens? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, go back to the game. Let's go back to those. Is there any hints in these as to the code? Nothing in numbers here. Or here. Well, first of all, a desk drawer. What could the combination? Be? It's locked. Let's look at our combination here. Okay, Grandpa. I need a clue to unlock this box. So if you're here, huh? Guess I'll have to work it out myself then. Okay, so five letter word, we have A and S, F, L, and A. It's locked. Okay. Go back to this U for a moment. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, eleven. Okay, let's see. Two, six, seven, or no, two, six, eight, eleven. And then, hmm. the key hmm. I have doesn't fit here. Does it tell me anything Come different? Me. Hello. I didn't check this, this yet. This is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. So if anyone else is listening in the region, start off immediately, please. 
<laughs> Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means, well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grandmothers, all the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. <laughs> I, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother, but there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now hmm. it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help, but I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Goodbye, Grandpa. That's definitely Grandpa's handwriting. This world is full of secrets. A tape recorder. Oh, the tallest tree it's just playing that again. River. In every breath that was of lovely. Wind and every dancing flame. All you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. So what's the importance of this? I wonder. Is it telling me what order to read them in, maybe? This one, this one, this one, this one. Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. Let's go back over there. I don't think I'm getting any more out <clears> of <throat> this glow. <clears throat> I think you're probably right. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. Oh, Grandpa's old travel diary. Seems like a few pages are missing. I should see if I can find the missing pages. Have I not found the missing this. pages? I've sworn that's what I've been doing this whole time. It's locked. I think I know what the answer is. Sure, that would be it. Nope. Maybe I need something else to solve this. Hmm. Seems that there's something to do with this, but. Okay, let's look at those again. Necklace in the temple in China made all the difference, and now I'm finally in Africa. Wait, okay, can I look at these things while using the lens? Does it make a difference? Doesn't seem to be making any difference. I managed to open. Grandpa's globe, I found another piece of the necklace, and when I looked through it, stuff glows. I've seen things that aren't there. What the hell is going on? It's a good question. Thank you very much for watching, and hey, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date with the channel. Bye for now.